the Southwest Charity Word Forest Association, based in Lyme Regis, is keen to explain. They've designated this week, Trees Are the Key Awareness Week, and we can talk to its chairman, Simon West, and one of its volunteers, Joe Smith, who are on with us now. Good morning, both. Good morning, Steve. Nice to have you there. Simon, let's start with you. Just for people coming uh, to Word Forest for the first time, explain what it is you do, why you're so passionate about trees. Uh, What what isn't to like about trees? Um, We are a a fairly small charity and we plant trees in Kenya and uh, to a lesser degree in the UK. We plant them in Kenya because they grow up to 10 times faster and uh, we just felt that um, we needed an awareness week to let people appreciate the wonder of trees and uh, not to cut them down, to plant some if they possibly can, and uh, focus on uh, what wonderful things they are to help us in our fight against climate chaos. You mentioned uh, Kenya more than the UK. There's a reason for you focusing so much in that country. Yeah, absolutely. They, um, the trees in the tropical zones uh, grow up to 10 times faster than they do up here. Um, and I, I saw that brought home very clearly to me in uh, the little park in Lyme Regis. There is a tree that was planted in 2012 in honour of the mayor, and it has a little plaque by it. And it's about as tall as me. In Kenya, we also had some trees planted, me and my wife, uh, to celebrate our wedding. And uh, they are now seven metres tall. So it's it's absolutely critical that we get as many trees as possible in the ground. But if we plant them in the tropics, they grow much, much faster. Uh, Joe Smith, as I say, is with us as well. Joe actually spoke at COP26 when she told a panel about the need for immediate action to help those that the charity works with in Kenya. They have no water. They're in a drought. They can't wait for us to get clean electricity or clean flight what are you going to do now to get the message that we need to act urgently now? And maybe the behaviour we have to do now, we have to do for a short amount of time, because in the future, technology will allow us back to a way of life that we have now. But there are people in this world who are not going to be there in years to come when we can fly with electric flights. Joe, how frustrating is it? And, you know, I I understand that uh, the media talking about COVID or the media talking about Ukraine, the media talking about the cost of living is a really important thing to do, but that you must feel sometimes like the situation with climate change uh, and the way that that could be prevented in some sense by the kind of steps that Word Forest is taking gets pushed out of the agenda often by these other short-term news stories. Yeah, it, it might feel like that, but I don't. I don't think it is pushed out. I think. I think people have got the message, and the more and more people you talk to, and the more and more people, you know, if you ask most people around, you know, how concerned are you? Do you know about climate? Nobody wants to know. Nobody wants to have the future that is predicted. Um, and I think. I think the media make it black and white. If we're not talking about it, nobody's doing anything. But we are doing things. We can see the support we've got. And just out there on the streets that you you realise that people are concerned. And actually the way that we get um, action is by just talking, not by scaring, not by telling people all the horrors, but just by talking and telling them what they can do on a day-to-day basis. And there is plenty that we can all do. Um, and planting trees is one thing. Planting trees in Kenya, as Simon said, is, is paramount. And and, and but also there's also other things that we are doing and and there is a crisis in ukraine and they are just as important and the covid pandemic but these are all actually kind of interrelated to the climate as well and the climate is going to be there forever the climate is not going to go away so yes we've got these other very very important and and desperate situations and my heart goes out to the people of ukraine and and i i just hope and pray that that will be a resolution to that but that doesn't mean because that's going on that actually climate change is is standing still yeah and i think we have to carry a lot of things in this world and we all have concerns and i think um this is just going to be with us and we've all got to do our bit because we can make a difference to this. There's there's a big mass movement, and and it, it's like a it's like a, pot, a pebble in a pond. We often say in our charity that actually your small action 
causes ripples and ripples and changes the actions of others. So I think the, 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 the message to your listeners is don't get disheartened. Just because it's not in the news doesn't mean don't act, but just do what you can do one step at a time and just go and, and give your love to the planet as you give to your love to your fellow human beings. And just by us all doing that, we will make a difference in this world. Simon, as part of this Trees of the Key Awareness Week, I promised um, we're going to uncover some of the secrets of trees during this week. Could you tease us? <laughs> Could you tease us with some this morning? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, trees are absolutely amazing um, uh, things. And uh, we're looking at, at how they benefit us, um, not just from the, uh, the, the oxygen that they release when they absorb carbon dioxide. But uh, last year, we looked at the mental health benefits of being amongst the trees. And this year, we're looking specifically at, at some of the things that we get from trees. It's not just timber. Um, for example, one of the little ones that, uh, that uh, if you've got children, you may, at, at school age, you may have uh, suffered them having nits. Well, the neem tree, which grows brilliantly in Kenya, releases an oil which we can harvest without damaging the tree. And it's very good for getting rid of nits. Nits absolutely <laughs> hate it. So there's a little one for your listeners. If nice. you're putting nit oil on your on your children's heads, then it's probably come from a Kenyan neem tree. Brilliant. Love that. Uh, really great to talk to you both this morning. Simon West and Joe Smith, both with the Word Forest organisation. They've got a lot of stuff going on this week as, as part of their trees are the key awareness week, including a, um, a screening on Friday from seven of their uh, Kate Winslet narrated film uh which i think is available up online uh yeah have a look uh, hashtag hashtag trees are the key to find out more but this uh, friday from seven for that documentary being screened 